Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to configure a form with a database, that's MySQL database, so that any form which is submitted goes directly to our database. So to get started, we are going to build a simple form here. So I'm going to go to my toolbox and then I'm going to scroll to the form section. Now I'm going to go with any of the form which has been built already. So I'm going to start with the form wizard and this is going to give me an option to choose from. So I'm going to go with that's a base a form based on a template. I'll go ahead and hit on next. Let me see if this form is going to be okay. So let me just say I would want to use this form. So I'll go ahead and select next. Now I'm not going to configure anything over here. I'm going to leave this as it is. I will go ahead and hit on next. Here as well, I'm not going to do anything here. And then I'll continue to finish with this form. Now this is my simple form. I want to go ahead and configure this with a database. Before I can configure this with a database, I'm supposed to have a database detail. So in my case, I'm going to use my localhost database, that is WAMP. I'll go ahead and build out a, um, that is a table as well as a database there. But before I continue with that, let's just do some small configuration with our form. So first of all, I'm going to make sure I have my, that is my form with the edit boxes. I have the correct names for the edit boxes I have here. So I'm going to select this one. This is going to be label one. So this is going to be name label. And then I'm going to come to the address section. Let me just change this to name label. And let me make this that is name that is for the name edit box. So this is going to be name. And then this is going to be address label. I'll go ahead and change this to address. And then this is going to be city label. And then I'll go ahead and change this to city. I'll come down here and change this to state label. And then I'll change this to state. I'll change this to code label. And then I'm going to go ahead to change this to code. I'll change the phone to phone label. Let me just correct this. And then I'll go ahead and change this to phone. I'll come down here and change this to email label. And then I'll change this to email. And then I'm going to change this to country label. And then I'll change this to country. Now this is my form. Let me just go ahead and expand this a little bit. So I'll move this here, expand it a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and expand this also. So I'll expand this as well. Let me just go ahead and expand this also. And then I'm going to expand this. Let me continue to expand this. As well as expand this. And then I'll continue to expand these two fields I have in here. So I'll go ahead and expand this and then expand this as well. Now let me just move my send to the right hand side and then move my reset to the left hand side of the form, making sure it's aligned to the left hand side of my fields I have here and then move it some few pixels to the top. Now I'm going to click on this, hold on the shift key, select this and then I'm going to align it to the top. Now this is my simple form. Now to make sure this form is going to work properly, that is if I submit this form and I want this field to be that is submitted accordingly in an ascending order, in this particular order, I'll have to do something. But before I continue with that, I would want us to configure our form and then see how it is going to be displayed in the database. So let's just go to our browser and then I'm going to open localhost because I have a WAM server installed on my system. And then I'll go to PHP my admin. Now my P, uh, PHP my admin is protected with a password, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the details. That is my username as well as my password. I'll hit on go, and then it's going to bring me to the database. Now with the database section, I'm supposed to create a database as well as I'll go ahead and create a user account for that particular database or that particular form I'm creating here. So I'll first start with a user account. I'm going to create this 
let me just hit on a uh, new user account let's add a new user account and this is going to just be form let me just make this form now come to the password and type a password for this so this is going to be admin at one two three as well as this is going to be admin at one two three now come to the um privileges section i'm going to check out the privileges as well as i'm going to grant privileges to this particular username and i'm not going to create any database that is going to have a name form if i want to do that i can go ahead and do that but i'm not going to do that i would want to create the database separately so i'm done with this section all i have to do is to hit on go to create the user account now my user account has been created now to see the user account i just have to come to user accounts and then as you can see i have a user account called form here now i'm going to go to the database and create a database for my contact form so i'll come here and then i'm going to type this contact form let me just make this form and then i'll go ahead and create the database so i've created a database for a contact form now when we come to wizard we go and build that and we double click on this now instead of using the normal um that's general forms um, submit here that's mail to i'm going to go ahead to use the form processing now when i come to this part i can go ahead and fill or provide the details for this particular section i'm not going to do that i'll instead come to advance and when i come to advance i'm going to go to the my scale section now go ahead and enable this so that it's going to ask me for the details here now as part of the details we have server we have database we have table username and password now what we've done so far is the username password the server and the database we are supposed to create a table which is going to keep or store these form details so i'll come back to my browser and then in the database that is a contact form database i created i'm going to create just a single table here so i'm just going to make this form so i'll go ahead and hit on go and then my form uh, field or form table has been created so all i have to do is to come back to my um visible web builder project now i'm going to provide the details for the database here so the first one is going to be server which is going to be localhost and then the next one is going to be database so the database i created let me just come back here and make sure i get the right name. so that's contact form so i'll come here and provide the database name that's contact form and then the table is form now the username i created was uh let me just i think i created a username for form and then the password is admin at one two three let me just come here and make sure i have that's rightly done so i'll come back to my um, home let me just come to home and then go to user account so i have my form okay so that's what i created i'll go ahead and hit on okay so that is the details i've provided i'll go ahead and um, hit on okay now because i'm working with a php script i, go, I have to go ahead and change the uh, extension of this particular page to php so i'll just right click on an empty space go to page properties and then i'm going to change this to php now let me just align this to the center i'll go ahead and hit on ok now let me just change the width of this a little bit so everything is rightly done here all i have to do is to submit um, that is publish this form to my local host server so i'm going to go ahead and hit on publish and then i'm going to uh, have a uh, publish this to new demo i already have a folder created in my root folder in my local host server which is called new demo so all i have to do is to publish it but before i continue i already have something published in there so i'm just going to clear this and then i'll come back here and publish my project to it so i'll publish this and then it has been published now i'll come to my browser and then i'm going to open the address so this is going to be localhost and then this is going to be new demo so i'll go ahead and hit on enter and then i have my form here so all i have to do is to provide the details for my form and then when i'm done i submit it so i'm going to generate my form with the details so the first one is going to be HTML, and then address is just going to be let me just use this city is going to be accra state is going to be let me just make this greater accra the code is going to be 233 now my phone number is going to be 0000000, 000 email address is going to be info at uh, so this is going to be info at now my country i'm just going to select ghana I'll go ahead and select Ghana and then I'm going to submit this form. Now, the form has been submitted. This is not take us to any success or error page because I haven't configured a form with anything as such. Um, so I'm going to come back to my database and then to preview and show or find out if my form has been truly submitted. So all I have to do is to come to my database and then I'm going to go to the form um, database I created. So I'm just going to navigate 
identify my contact form database which is here now i created a table called form i'm going to open it and then when i come to this section you realize my details has actually been submitted now if you want to get these particular details in a very different format that is in word in excel csv or anything of that sort or even pdf all you have to do is to um, export this particular um, details here so i'll check these details i'll come to export and then it's going to ask me in which format do i want to export this particular details so when i come here i have different formats that i can export this to i can export this to word uh, csv um, csv for microsoft excel now what i would do is to submit this to pdf so i'll go ahead and select pdf and then i'm going to hit on go so this is going to export this to pdf i'll just go ahead and select open with pdf and this is going to open with pdf so as you can see this is the form i submitted i have the id the date stamp that the date it was submitted the time the ip address this is not showing the full ip address this is the browser and then this is the form so the name of the person the address the city then we have the state we have the code so as you can see uh, everything has been rightly submitted here now this is showing in its um, rightful name here because I, if you come back to the project, realize I changed this to name. That is how come it is showing me all those details in that right order. And because I actually built this from a form wizard, everything has actually been arranged accordingly. So, accordingly. so there is no need for me to do anything here. So as you can see, if I come back, let me just open my PDF once more. Uh, it's showing me everything here now this is actually not showing me everything i want so let me just minimize this come back here and export this to probably microsoft um, excel csv for excel so i'll go ahead and uh, do this i'll go ahead and open this with excel and then let's see how this is also going to display so as you can see we have everything here we have all the details here this is just being separated with a comma it's actually not given as the heading but as you can see this is how you can go about configuring your form with a database. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye for now.